In this video, we're going to finish up with the discussion of factors, multiples, and remainders with a discussion of multiples, the only thing that we haven't talked about yet. So what is a multiple? Well, multiple, there's kind of two ways to put it. There's a more confusing way and an easier way. And I'll give you the more confusing way first, and then I'll give you the easier way after. The more confusing way is to say that a multiple of a number, so the multiples, I should say, of a number, or an integer, um, are the numbers, are the numbers that can be divided by that number without a remainder. In other words, they're factors of it. So the multiples of a number are the numbers that are the factors of that number. Um, or I should say, the multiples of a number are the numbers that this number is a factor of, or that this number so the number are the numbers that can be divided by the original number without a remainder. In other words, the factor, the numbers in which this is a factor. Okay, whatever. That is confusing. Let me give you the really easy way to do it. Let's say 10. What are the multiples of 10? Well, the multiples of 10 will be 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. How about the multiples of 6? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. How about of 9? 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, so on. So what's going on here? Well, we're simply just multiplying the original number by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, right? By 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, and so on. And that's all there is to it. So what is, how does the original definition make sense? Well, these numbers right here, the numbers, the multiples essentially, these are, can all be divided by the original number without a remainder. In other words, this original number is a factor of each one of these. So that's what this original step definition says. A little roundabout. Easiest way to remember is just say, okay, it's the number times two, then times three, times four, times five, times six. Um, the other thing to say is that just as 10 is a factor of these guys, 10 itself has factors. So the factors of 10 are 1, 2, and 5, and 10. Note that each one of these multiples is also a multiple of 2, 5, and 10, right? Because if 10 is a factor of 20, then the factors of 10 are also factors of 20. So 5 is a factor of 20, 2 is a factor of 20, and so on. Just a little tip. I mean, it's not something you'll be tested on directly, but it may be helpful to know that as a shortcut uh, for a later kind of problem. The other thing you might, I don't think you'll be asked this, but it's important to remember this, is the least common multiple. So just like the greatest common factor, this has to do with two numbers. Let's look at uh, 6 and 10 for a second. Two numbers, we take two numbers, 6 and 10, and we ask, what's the least common multiple of that? Well, to do that, we want to find the least number of the multiples that is the same between them. So if we look here, the answer to this one is simply going to be 30, right? Because this one has 30, and this one has 30. And that is the least multiple that they share in common. So that's your least common multiple. For 6 and 10, it would be 30. And that's all you need to know about multiples.